Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and Management students studying for the HND Level 5 courses. Section 1. For this bullet point you need to describe the different types of costs such as fixed and variable and explain why certain costs are allocated to each cost type. For example rent would be classified as a fixed cost. On bullet point 2 you need to briefly describe the different costing methods such as job, standard, activity based, service and batch costing and explain why and in what circumstances or types of organisation would one costing type be selected rather than another. Here you will need to briefly describe the different techniques such as absorption, marginal, cost plus and how to use each one ideally with one actual example. And on bullet point four, here you would need to describe how and in what situations you would use techniques such as sampling, break-even and cost-benefit analysis. Section two, on bullet point one, you need to show, using a real-life example, how you would prepare a cost report, including gathering data, selecting a report format, presenting the data, explaining variables, implications and making recommendations. Bullet point two, often known as key performance indicators, you need to give some examples of how these are used to maintain standards, quality levels, cost levels and to generate improvements such as when lowering the allowable wastage rate or raising the targeted customer satisfaction level. And on the last bullet point you need to describe a workplace scenario ideally in your own organisation and recommend appropriate actions to bring improvements such as find lower cost suppliers, automate processes, lower wastage levels, introduce quality management systems and procedures and performance indicators. Section 3, bullet point 1 is about the importance of managing operational income and expenditure activity in line with organisational strategies and objectives which includes forecasting, planning and monitoring etc over a set period of time. Give an example from your own or a selected organisation of this budgeting process in action. For bullet point 2, ideally using the whole or part of your own organisation or one that you can research, very briefly describe different budgeting methods such as incremental, zero based or program etc and select and justify one of these. Then following on from the, the previous criteria, describe how you would prepare, gather data, forecast, plan and implement that uh, budget. And finally bullet point 4, for many small organisations the cash budget is, uh, is the budget but in larger organisations a cash flow budget is often prepared as a, a sub budget dealing only with literally cash that is received from sales and lodged in the bank then consumed by operational activities. This is usually linked to a cash flow forecast. You should explain how for a reasonably complex activity area how you would prepare one of these budgets. Section 4 for bullet point 1 you need to briefly describe the different types of variants, what might cause them and recommend action that will eliminate or minimise the variants. For example if office equipment maintenance costs vary widely from month to month then appropriate action might include staff usage training and or renewal of equipment and or a planned preventative maintenance programme. Bullet point two, the operating statement is simply a reconciliation statement listing actual income and expenditure against budgeted or forecast income and expenditure. Select a period of at least one month, um, ideally for an activity area within your own organisation or one that you can research and prepare an operating statement adding comments and explanations where appropriate. On bullet point three, Ideally using your own organisation or a suitable researchable one, identify a responsibility centre, sometimes known as cost centres or profit centres. Uh, you might find that responsibility centres are not always labelled as such, but they do exist, so check with your uh, line manager or perhaps your finance department and then describe it and prepare a simple report on its current budget performance. If appropriate, you can use the findings from the operating statement you prepared in response to the previous bullet point. 
Finally, here are some websites you should find useful in preparing this assignment. If you need any further help or assistance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.